What's up, guys? Welcome to another Just Boosted episode, bro. I just want to tell you guys, uh, my bad for not filming uh, for about a month. Um, this is the video. It's not about hunting. It's partial about hunting. Uh, but this video is basically going to explain to you guys what's happening, what's going on. Um, so, we couldn't... The trapping and the hunting were seized on Belazar's first station. Um, because we run by Air Force Station and there's also another base over there that's run by the Marines uh, Basically what happened was the trespassers and the poachers and you guys know who we are the poachers um, That been coming in they were they were, just, they were just giving a hard time to the Marine uh, police force um, they're chasing them, trying to stop them. They're just running away. I don't know. They, there was a bunch of drama between the poachers and the Marine side. So they were coming in from the Marine side and then coming onto the Air Force side. And it, it, it was just a, it was just a, I don't know. It was just a bullshit thing that they're doing. Anyway, as you guys know, on top of the the news, right? Uh, the news, if you guys watch the news, they're on the MCTAB side, which is the Marine side. They're building that fence that goes all the way around on top of the ridge and comes down to our property where their property is. Um, as they were, you know, scouting the fence, they already started building the fence already, by the way. And it is kind of, it's kind of dumb. I'm against it. Um, but it is what it is. They were coming up on the ridge. They're coming down the ridge onto our property. And that's where one of my traps was one of my traps was actually two feet on their property and they made a real big stink about it uh instead of they came to our our major or our commander um they they took it above them i guess so something went happen i don't know what happened but it just got out of hand and so our major told me that we need to seize the we need to seize uh trapping and hunting on the base for now and so we contacted, or we got one of our guys, um, uh, the agriculture guy, environmentalist, sorry. Environmentalist, right on, brother, thank you. He wrote a contract and sent it out. So this is the sit and wait part of it. It takes about one to two months to it actually goes up the chain of command and then it gets passed off and then we can start. And it doesn't matter what anybody says, as long as we follow in the rules and the regulations, of the trapping on Bellos Earth Force Station. Um, I remember when I was talking about that people or somebody was kind of like fucking up my traps and taking my cameras. Um, we were blaming the poachers, right? But kind of made more sense that it kind of might have been those guys, the McTab side. I don't know. Um, there's no evidence of who took home or who was fucking up my traps. But kind of now it's the poachers and that side. But I, I don't care. I'm over it. Um, we got over that shit real quick. Um, so about one to two months, it's going to take for us to get back and start filming again. I also trap on a few different uh, properties. But those properties don't allow me to film there, uh, which I get it. There's a farm. Um, they don't want poachers coming into their farm or their wherever their property. Um... And some of these properties, they have big machinery. They don't want it be, you know, they don't want to put it out there. People see it and, you know, try and steal it or they're going to trespass, especially the hunters. If somebody's filming a hunting spot, you know, people are going to go, people are going to try and get in there and try and take the, uh, try and hunt the pigs. Kind of like the fishing, right? You, 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 you post a spot up where you fish and you catch all these ulos or you catch ulos here or whatever, a good, nice spot. Eventually, people are gonna see it. They're gonna go out there to your spot. But it's it is what it is, you know. Um, so for now, the hunting is gonna go down. So maybe in like January is when we get the contract back. Hopefully, and pray that it comes back by January. Um, but right now, as I sit at work, um, I also got promoted. So I got promoted in my job. Uh, into a different department than what I was doing right on brother but a Gary um, For picking me Because I'm the best worker Anyway, thank you for the promotion. Anyway, um As I because I, I still work there and I see a lot of these pigs. There's a lot. There's a lot There's about four females that are pregnant 
there's about three big boys and that's just some family that kind of hangs out with each other and there's also a bunch of other families that a bunch of uh, pigs that come around randomly um so like then i understand that the longer it takes the more crazy or the way these pigs are gonna root up the grounds I mean that stopped for a while because I've been I've been capturing them um, so the number I know people are asking yo what was the number of the pigs that you caught uh, we caught so right now as we sit it's 67 pigs right now as we sit we, we got off of that property but anyway getting kind of sidetracked here. Mm -hmm. anyway there's a bunch of pigs that that that's been just coming around um, I can't feed them. I can't put my cams up. I can't uh, trap them. So all my traps are either hauled out, stored somewhere else, or they actually have locks on them so no one can have access to that. All my cameras were pulled out. Um, all my snares were pulled out. And so we just have to wait and follow the rules. And I know there's a lot of guys on my Instagram been asking me for the pigs and what's happening. The channel died. Um, it was good while it lasted and I said no 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 I'm still doing it it's just that I've been I just got promoted so I've been trying to work hard and get that since we kind of mellowed out a little and now I'm making this and these fucking scammers bro these fucking scammers get them guys holy shit yeah these scammers they keep calling the phone anyway okay man I can't. um so, as I, like I said, I still work there. I see a bunch of pigs out. So, when the contract comes in and we actually um, is able to um, trap again, I mean, it, it's gonna be a wild one. It's 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 gonna be a wild one. Um, I'm gonna post. A, I'm gonna put a video up. This is what this, this happened about three days ago, or about a week ago. Happened. And so far, I think I, I gathered about three pigs that was run over by people. And so I only filmed one and I filmed it on my phone. So it's going to be kind of wonky. Uh, I don't know how to, you know, the, the phone is kind of weird. But I have it on there and I, I'll put it in this video. Good morning. So, <clears throat> there's some issues about. So, I've never been posting videos about hunting due to their issues with the Marine side. And I work for the Air Force side. So, there was an issue. So, now we actually have to make a contract, which is going to take a couple months. But this is what happens when, um, when we cannot take care of the pigs on the, on the base. People just run them over and they just leave them. And this is kind of a poor thing on how it happens, as you guys can see. So, this pig's been dead quite a while already. The cause of it. I don't know what the cause of the pig, but this pig is actually, this pig was actually pregnant, this one. And look like somebody must have run them over. All right, all right, welcome back, boys. Welcome, anyway, I mean, so as you guys can see, um, the video, people run over the pigs. We do not get notified. People don't notify don't notify me. Cause at the time of the pig that they could have ran the pig over, um, I could have came in, cut the pig up, and store the meat, right? Um, inside there, I know that pig was pregnant because I've been watching her for a little while. And that was one of the pigs that had, had baby pigs in her. Um, I mean, we could have saved the meat. We, we, I mean, we could have done something. But by the time I got there in the morning, that I said, no one notified me. I seen it on the road, and it, it, it was just, it, it's just sad to see that people don't think and realize that 
that's cow cow. You know, that's food, man. That can feed in family. That can do can can, can do something. Um, but I was kind of heartbroken. I was kind of irritated of that day. And throughout that whole day, people were calling me and telling me, "Hey, you know, there's a dead pig on the road. And what you let me do? I mean, I can't do nothing. You know what I mean? That nature takes its course, and people were complaining the smell and this and that. It's like, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, gonna go through some of, some of the things on top Instagram. Um, I know guys are asking about the pigs I was talking about earlier, you know. Um, but eventually, when I get back into it, I will 100% go down the line of the people who message me for the pigs. Um, and I'll give you guys the pigs. Um, there's one thing I, I didn't really actually bring this up, but I'm gonna bring it up now. That there were people um, messaging me for the pigs. Um, they want to train their dogs, right? They want to take the pig, let the pigs train, bite the pig up, whatever. However, they train the dog. The, however, they train the dogs for hunting the pigs. Um, I have nothing against dog hunters. Zero, bro. I mean, pick up to you guys that you know that dog hunt, and there, there's no bad um, bad feelings towards you guys. But I rather get these pigs to people that actually gonna raise them. Or feed their family um, I know I told that to one guy on top of my Instagram and he said yeah bro after my pigs you know do that we take care of the pig we you know we kill the pig and then we cut the meat up and stuff like that we they actually feed the dogs and stuff like that um, but let me guys let me know down in the comments boys and girls um, what do you guys think bro? should I give the pigs to these dog hunters so that they can train their dogs and they say that they, they're gonna cut the pigs up and then they gonna eat them. So I mean, I, I'm not too sure. I don't know. Um, but just kind of a little bit on the edge of just capturing these pigs and giving them so the dogs can train. Uh, but let me know down down below on the comment below and uh, let me know what's happening. What you guys think? What you guys think about that? I don't know. There's a lot of guys on Instagram asking me to do a lot of how tos for the hunting. It's a little bit harder because I cannot. I cannot bring up all my equipment to show you guys on the how-tos. Um, but I know there's a few guys were asking about how do I prime or prime the meat um, and stuff like that. So I might make a simple video about how I, you know, clean the meat, take the game out of the meat. And um, I know there's a bunch of guys that have been asking, yo, how, do, how are you catching all these pigs? What kind of bait are you using? Um, I don't know exactly what video, but I talk about it in one of my videos. But maybe I'll just do a how-to for that too. Um, also, I was trying to get back into fishing again. And let's talk about this fishing thing just a little bit. Um, we're trying to go... We're trying to, I was trying to go back to drone fishing, but again, drone fishing is illegal in Hawaii. So you cannot, you cannot drone fish. I don't know, I mean, I get it. People are taking it out, you know, 500 yards. Sorry, boys. I was one of those guys, right? I just, I was one of those guys, but not most of the times I wouldn't go out that far. You know, we would go out 350 yards. Um, and there's just people that's been going out 700 to 800 yards, 600 yards, and, and, and it's crazy. Um, but I was watching one of the episodes uh, well, one of high fish gear episodes that Bill was talking about um, That the drone fishing could come back So I'm gonna link that video down in the description so you guys can uh, For a lot of the fishermen or fishermen and hunters that fish and hunt that you can watch that video and See what's up, you know, see what you guys think about it and I'll, I'll, I'll definitely link that video um, in, the, in the description down below at all, there was a bunch of guys that I knew that I was wearing Hawaiian Ops, bro. I, I love these guys' clothing line. It's fucking amazing. It's amazing. I'm not sponsored by these boys, um, but you guys can definitely go on the Instagram Hawaiian Ops and check out what kind of clothing. They, they, this is one of the the new shirts that they put out. Um, like I said, there there were there's somebody. 
that is in the Hawaiian community, in the Hawaiian op community, that been buying me all this. So I got this one, I got the orange one, I got the fluorescent green one, I got the pink one. I even got the hats right here. Um, I bought one of them, and then somebody in the community loves Hawaiian ops, and they've been sending me all your guys' gear. So I know who it is, I'm not gonna put them on blast. But thank you for all the gear that you buy for me and the channel and just to heart uh, to help support locals, right? Help support local uh, companies. Um, but definitely shout out to uh, Hawaiian Ops for the killer gears that you guys make my brothers and I wish you guys the best. I hope you guys get a shit ton of sales. I know there are a few guys from the mainland that watch the channel um i'm trying to get their photos or their pictures from them that they bought some of you guys hats and you guys shirts and I, i'm asking them to send me post uh videos or um pictures of them wearing the gear i'm gonna send them to hawaiian ops and you guys reaching the main line my brothers and that's that's good that's good and nothing too crazy you guys are amazing killer killer group uh you guys got killer gear uh but they're up there too so check out nothing too crazy boys and hawaiian ops on, on on instagram and follow them and you see a lot of the a lot of the gear that they put out man it's amazing stuff but um also talk about the drone fishing and stuff like that so i'm gonna link all that down below and i'm, I'm kind of all over the fucking place i'm just trying to trying to get a lot of this information down. i should write them down so i can go in order and talk about it um Definitely want to get back into fishing. Um, I might start. I might just start just throwing lines out instead of drawing the lines out. You know what I mean? But you know, follow the rules, guys. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, bro, I just hope you guys kind of stick around to the end and help help grow the channel. Um, and then, oh shit! Before we go, let's talk about this thirty by thirty. Holo, uh, Holo, Holo Mau Marine, right? Holo Mau Marines. It basically, they, they want to preserve fishing, right? From my knowledge that I kind of did my little research, I kind of watched uh, Morris, uh, Morris, what was that? Real, Real Adventures Hawaii, which is Morris Lewis Hawaii. So you guys can follow him too, man. Nick, Nick Morris. He's uh, one of the, he's, he's like a boat fisherman, but he fishes from shore too. Um, he also has, uh, he talks a lot, a lot more in depth than I will. Um, but yeah, so they basically want to preserve certain areas. At one point, they had this whole fucking East Coast. I mean, the whole uh, east side of Oahu where you cannot fish, cannot spear, cannot dive, cannot do basically shit. I'm pretty sure that is bogus. But I think they're going to pick certain areas of the, the islands. And they're gonna preserve that spot so you won't be able to fish or dive in that area. Oh my fucking allergies acting up. Um so I'm against it, bro. Hundred percent. Hundred percent against the whole 30 by 30. Um which is which is fucking crazy. Which is crazy. But yeah, I'll I'll put Nick's Nick's uh shit in there on the on Nick's information down on below. He has to follow him on Instagram and kind of follow him because he's actually, he's going through each step and posting about um, the meetings about this. So I think Maui had one. I think Kauai is coming up with one. Um, but I want you guys to go and follow him. And if you guys are fishermen or, or hunters or hunters and fishermen, just, bro, spread the word. We need to stand. We need to fight against these guys. If not, we cannot teach our kids, you know. We can't teach the kids anything in fishing if they're going to stop the fishing or ban fishing or whatever they're trying to do. Like I said, I don't really know it in depth, but I'm just trying to put awareness out there about it. So, if you guys follow Nick, uh, Morris Lures Hawaii, and you guys can kind of read or uh, watch his videos on Instagram. He also has a big channel on YouTube um, about boat fishing. and He's a crazy fisherman. He, hands down to that guy. Um, but anyway, just stay tuned. I'm gonna start posting a little bit more videos. Might be might take a little longer for me 
to post videos and find content, you know, especially fishing. If you're fishing on a, you know, if you're fishing on the beach and you don't catch nothing all night or all week, you know, people don't want to see that, you know. So we're going to try to start posting a little bit more. And, um, you know, thank you guys, you know, for all the support that you guys uh, with Just Boost Them community. We're not a huge community, um, but I, I do I do appreciate everybody that, you know, sub to the channel and then all that good stuff. But before I go, my brothers, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, put a comment down below, follow the Instagram. I'll put all the links down below in the description. And... Stay blessed and stay safe, cause until we meet again, my friends.